Have you ever kissed Jay Z romantically? Uh, no. <laughs> no, I can't answer that. I can't answer that. The same person that robbed me for like $500 for a session ended up being in the studio. So it seems like Blue Cantrell is finally ready to share her truth with the world, and you would never believe what she got on Jay-Z and his wife, Beyonce. Well, the industry is full of speculations and dramas, and this time, Blue didn't shy away from spilling how these two messed with her life and career, and even dared to humiliate her by naming their daughter after her. So it seems like this couple is under fire again, and this time, Blue Cantrell is eager to take them down, down from their pedestal and tear their reputation into pieces. No, she's <laughs> never done an interview. <laughs> I don't know if she ever will, because I don't really think I would like. In case you've been living under a rock, Blue Cantrell has been one of the most promising female artists in the 2000s, but unfortunately, she parted her ways with the industry. Many people associated Blue's absence with the love triangle Blue, Beyonce, and Jay-Z, and fans have been wondering what had happened to this talented young girl. Apparently, there's more to the story, as Blue is still convinced that both Jay-Z and his wife went to unimaginable lengths in order to get rid of competition, and Blue never expected the show business games to be so dangerous. And other people in this in this business, and everybody gets along with me. If you can't get along with me, it's because you're hating. Yeah. You're hating. Yeah. Now Blue has been warning us in the past about her alleged poisoning, but due to Jay's influence and power, no one believed that her sudden hospitalization had something to do with the industry. And folks, when you think about it, there's no other person who wished Blue ill because she was loved equally by fans and colleagues. But you may already guess what made Jay-Z and Beyonce stoop so low as to cross all lines and attempt to get rid of an innocent person. Well, there are actually two reasons for that. First of all, there have been talk about Blue dating Jay-Z. And come on, we all know the saying where there's smoke, there's fire. And as it was confirmed, Beyonce had all reasons to suspect her husband in sleeping around because in 2016, their family a deal was stained by the rumors of his infidelity. So you can't connect. And then now all the things happen from there. Some people even suggest that Blue was Jay-Z's big love. And we all know how, how crazy things may be in the industry when a fight for a powerful man begins. However, Blue never wanted to be a part of anything like this. And as she confessed in her interview with Wendy Williams, she got tired of all speculations about her being a thing with the music producer because at that time, Jay was dating Beyonce. Why do people not want to let the Jay-Z Blue Cat trial thing go? Because honey, that was a fabulous little high point in your well, career. Well, what about Beyonce and Jay-Z? Seems like Blue was simply too dangerous for these industry handlers and that why they had hidden agenda in mind against her. As Blue now says, her poisoning was a part of a sinister play of power where she was the target. Maybe Jay-Z and Bay simply wanted to send a message to this girl, but in fact, Blue ended up being hospitalized after that. But if you think that jealousy played the major role here, wait until the end of the story because some things are too suspicious to be just coincidences. At the time when Blue released her first album, So Blue, Beyonce was only starting her solo career, and Blue wasn't really happy after hearing Beyonce's single Baby Boy because she recognized quite suspicious similarities with her own number one hit, Breathe. As Blue said then, Beyonce is talented and beautiful, and I'm a fan, but she has a song out which is very similar to mine. She uses words which are in the hook of my song, and if she's that talented, she shouldn't have to copy someone else. And this was the blow neither Beyonce nor Jay couldn't tolerate. Apparently, they were quite offended by such a comparison and never wanted anyone to ever associate the future Queen Bay with anyone else, especially hearing that her songs were somehow similar. I mean, you can fake it for so long, but you can't have a long career faking it. Eventually, people are going to see past the... But as many fans believe, Beyonce lacked her own ideas at that time, and the best thing she could do to help her career is to steal others' tunes, ideas, and collaborators. As many fans say, it's all about power play, and there are many giveaways that point at how the industry does talented artists dirty. As one person commented, they got rid of so many great talented R.I. singers back then to make room for Beyonce. And another user added, with everything that's going on and the sacrifices, she didn't stand a chance. And although everything Blue ever wanted was to make music, she got dragged into her first beef against her own will. As Blue explained, Beyonce made a wrong choice when she picked Sean Paul for her collaboration, and Cantrell reckoned that his presence was Bay's direct dig at her because of Blue's statements about Jay-Z. I really like him, though. And I don't care. I don't care who he's dating. I always had a crush on him, though. Well, it seems like Beyonce and Jay-Z had all the reasons in the world to get rid of Blue. Like, first... This lady was openly talking about her crush on B's boyfriend, and second, Blue didn't hesitate a second before coming forward and exposing B stealing her ideas. As Blue said, 
The rumors about her dating Jay-Z weren't enough. Apparently, Beyonce wanted to steal everything she could, including fame and glory. Now she's doing a song with Sean Paul because I'm linked with Sean Paul, so I don't know what her intentions are. I'm not tit for it like that. I don't waste my time sitting around trying to think about what Beyonce is thinking. And it seems like Blue's career was destined to be stolen and destroyed. Beyonce later added more drama when had released the song called Signs. The lyrics that read, I was in love with a Sagittarius, I've been hurt by a pisses is nothing else but a direct jab at Blue because Jay-Z is Sagittarius and Blue is pisses. But Beyonce denied all coincidences and called it stupid rumors. But it's not an autobiography. It's not about me. (laughs) And Beyonce's moves became even more and more menacing with time as she continued testing Blue's patience with her actions and kept using Cantrell's songs for inspiration. It looked like Beyonce wanted to stir some drama, knowing that Blue would get angry. And apparently, this is a classic industry tactics to make your opponent look and behave crazy so you can prepare for the final blow. The stories of celebrity sudden disappearances and institutionalization are nothing new in the show business. And looking back at the entire feud with Beyonce, Blue is now confident that it was the singer's cruel plan to unwind her rival to the point that she would get suspicious and act like crazy. I didn't even believe it. I was like, yeah, right. I couldn't believe it. Apparently, to prove his loyalty to B and take the competition out, Jay-Z agreed to participate in another act against Blue, and together, the couple made the music video for Song Bonnie and Clyde look exactly like the promo for Blue's song Roundup. But Blue wasn't giving up, and she she kept dissing Beyonce with her angry statements like, maybe she's trying to do it to get press, but I want to make her understand. If she goes there with me, it's the wrong move. She needs to understand what she's doing and what she's getting into. I'm a master at singing. Apparently, that was quite humiliating for Queen Bee, and she decided it's time to stop playing games, so the couple went on to their plan to silence Blue forever by using poison. As Blue said, Beyonce couldn't even compete with her because without stealing her ideas and trying to take her life, she would be still nowhere in her career. Some people work their whole lifetimes to try to achieve that and to be able to do that on the first tries. Well, Beyonce wanted to make it big so much and prove to the world that she can be a successful artist without Destiny's Child, but unfortunately, Blue's talent got in the way of Beyonce's path to success. However, with loving and supporting Jay by her side, all the rivals in the ERB scene somehow ended up passing away or blackballed. And if there's anything Beyonce had learned in the show business, is that you need to be selfish to achieve your goals. And it seems like she took this idea quite literally. But I, I've learned that I have to be a little bit selfish and take care of myself because I have time. I want to be here. As Blue now says, attempting to end another's person life in order to succeed is not being selfish. It's a criminal act. And while it seems like it's hard to bring down these two because they are protected by their ties to shady elites, Blue still wants people to know her story and how she suffered. Amid the current dramas looming over Hollywood, fans find new clues and connections in Blue's story. As one person commented, this could explain why Beyonce wears blonde hair all the time and her daughter's name is Blue, like Blue Cantrell. And another user added, Blue needs to come back and take her crown. Change the platform for the better. We need new positive people and clean house. Well, only the toughest survive in the industry. And apparently, Blue never wanted to be a part of these schemes and games. And what do you think about this, guys? Was Blue also a victim of the cruel hip hop industry? Or is she just looking for publicity throwing Jay and Bay under the bus? Share your thoughts in the comments below and check my other videos.